So you know, I decided to come here to the TA because uh, I had to go and use the restroom right quick. Usually I don't, um, I take all my showers, which I took my shower this morning. Fortunately, I'm, I'm sort of taking this medicine, which forces me to go to the restroom a little bit more often than I, I would like, all right? So enough about talking about that. Don't, don't want to talk about that but this is what i do want to talk about right quick so i'm here at the ta right quick and it was me and uh and another guy uh that went into the restroom it was another dude that was already in the restroom and he's you know he's in there washing up brushing his teeth he looks like a truck driver and that's that's understandable you know we we got it we got to get it in where, where when and whenever we can you know and i i commend him for you know getting his wash up and brushing his teeth and all that good stuff i i don't want to sound you know facetious or whatever but i think if you you're a truck driver you should have the rewards cards to each in every truck stop that you go to. So this guy in the bathroom, right? So me and the one guy walks up in there and you know, we go in the stalls and you know, we sit on the, you know, sit on the toilet and all that good stuff. And um, the guy, the, the one guy, you know, he started, you know, he started this thing and you could hear it. It was, it was real loud. The guy that was in there washing up Okay, and this is what I want to say. If you don't have nothing nice to say, please leave it to your freaking self. See, I had to catch myself because if I cuss, then I would have to beep it out, you know. But anyway, keep it to yourself, all right? We don't want to hear all the negative stuff that's going on in your head, all right? So this guy. Like you, you know, like like he don't take a like he don't take a dump every once in a while, and like his s don't stink, right? So he goes, I guess I gotta get up out of here now since it is it's about to be stinking in here. Really, dude, dude, it's a freaking bathroom, it's a restroom. Of course, it's gonna stink. You know what I'm saying? What restroom you been into that hasn't? You know what I'm saying? It's a public restroom. If you wanted to wash yourself up and brush your teeth without smelling shit, then you should have used your car and got you a shower and went into the shower room and had your private stuff. You in a public room, okay? There's a difference. All right, so the guy that was sitting on the toilet, you know, that, you know, that was, you know, doing the damn thing, he goes, he was like, well, shit, if you don't like how it's smelling in here, you can get the F out. And I'm over here watching, you know, watching videos on my phone over here, sneakering and all like that, because he said what I wanted to say. You know, that is a good idea, too. You know, when I, what I told you guys about the, about the dishwashing liquid for the, for the windshield, yeah, I'm going to get me a small thing of Lysol and keep it on me when I go into the uh, restroom. And you want to know something? Another thing to, to take with you as well? Baby wipes. <laughs> Baby wipes. Comfortable. Take my word for it. Especially after you have a, a massive dump. You, you really want to get some baby wipes. <laughs> Mentality. How can I explain mentality to you people? It's hard to explain a person's mental aspect. Mentally, you got to be strong for this type of game right here. Mentally. Mentally, you got to be strong for this type of game right here in order to do it. And to do it properly. You got to be mentally ready for it. Physically... You know, there's really, there's really no physicality 
here in trucking, you know. I mean, there's way too many guys out here that should not be driving, okay. Mentally, mentally, you got to mentally be ready for doing this type of job, all right. Especially in certain divisions. Now, the aspect of driving different divisions varies. You know what I'm saying? Reefer is different than flatbed, tanker. You know what I'm saying? Heavy haul, car haul. That's them now. Hold on. Sorry about that. I had to had to finally answer the phone for these people. But but the paperwork's ready now. But let me let me go in here and get the paperwork. I got here at about ten o'clock. Ten o'clock. Now I'm thinking, I'm thinking everything's good. It's dry. All they gotta do is unload me, and I get to go. I get to go and pick up my next load, which is not far from here. Now my pre plans got me all the way up to going home, which is very good. Actually. Now that I think about it, it looks like the same setup that I had the previous week. And I'm thinking I'm going to get here. <clears throat> I got here at 10 o'clock. Walked in. Maybe about a well, didn't walk in. I had to call. I had to call in to uh, let them know I was here because you you can't walk up into this place. But called in, let her know that I was here. And then she called me back maybe about a half an hour later to assign me a door. So I got a door, backed in the door, Sisty. All right, cool. Walked in, gave the paperwork. Of course, this is one of the places that has to, that has a lumper. All right. Now, I did a video that you can click right here and watch that video about lumpers i gave her the paperwork she told me to take the paperwork down to the down to the lumper guy which is capstone by the way so i give the paperwork to him now at first he tells me that he tells me that um go outside wait for the green light come back in and and get the amount usually they will already have the amount ready for you so that when you come back outside, you can SATCOM, you can SATCOM dispatch so you can get approved for COM data check. That wasn't the issue. I had to come outside. I thought I had the green light, but I didn't. But I, I went back inside anyway because I had to use the restroom. But I walked over and said, hey, you, you got that amount for me? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I went in there, gave, you know, went in there, got the amount, came back out and written up the check got the amount proof then i walked in and i was like all right you got the paperwork ready no the papers the paperwork's not ready you got to go to the desk so i go over to the desk and i say hey paperwork's ready the mental aspect of this job works wonders on you I, I'm, I'm here to tell you ready she goes no nah, the paperwork's not ready so i go i says um you you got a you got a ballpark because you know I, i've been out there for you know a couple of hours so far on a good day it will take only two hours because two hours is what the trucking companies have to give these companies to unload us so we got to give them two hours for free you see what I'm saying? So within that two hour period, we're not being paid, all right? We're not being paid at all. But after those two hours, then the rest of the hours is ours because you're detaining us. You're holding us from making our money. You're holding us from going to the next, to the next pickup. On time, by the way. See, now, now my pickup it's not on time. My pickup was supposed to be at 3.30. Now, I can't pick it up at 3.30 because you held me here. It was only supposed to take a couple of hours. I've been here since 10 o'clock. 
so upset right now. I mean, I am really, really upset right now. We give them two, at least two hours, all right? So we give them two hours. Within that two hours, you think that would be enough time to unload the truck. But see, this is what lumpers do. It is freaking irritating at best. So what lumpers have to do, they have to unload the truck. They got to count it. They got to count each and every one of the stats that's on the pallet. Then after they count it, they got to tag it. So they got to tag everything. Then after they tag it, then they got to go through it again, put it into the computer, and then give the paperwork to the uh, to the people to give back to us. My thing is this. I don't I don't think it's fair. All right? Leave it in the comments if you guys don't don't think it's fair either. I don't think it's fair that after they unload us, we should stay until they finish counting and tagging and whatever the case they're doing. I don't think it's fair for them to hold us up like that. Your mental aspect of of you sitting in the truck doing absolutely nothing but sitting there soaking about the fact that you're you're there on some on some BS is what I'm talking about. See, that's why you guys should occupy your time when 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 you coming into this game make sure you bring a laptop make sure you bring a tablet make sure you bring your cell phone data is the very is the most important thing that you can have while you on the while you on the road right now you see the weight while you at the shippers and receivers the weight messes with your mentality you know what i'm saying it really do. I mean, it messes with your mentality hard, you know, because a lot of places you're going to be waiting and it's going to mess with you. You're going to sit here, you're going to be bored, you're going to be frustrated, you're going to have a lot of emotions that's going to mess with you mentally. You see what I'm saying? So, you got to, you got to understand that if you're not mentally ready to be out here, don't come out here. There's a lot of things that you can do. You know what I'm saying? You know, things like, I don't know, you, you, can, you can clean out your truck. You can get out and, and, and get, you know, get a walk in, a run in. If you're there for a long period of time, yeah, call up an Uber and have them to take you over to the mall or something like that and you can go and chill out at the mall. While you're chilling at the mall, get a movie in. Because they're gonna call you anyway. They'll call you and let you know when you you know, when they're finished unloading you. The mentality is is what's gonna work you the most while you're out here. Nothing else, nothing else is gonna, you know, nothing else is gonna be too much of a problem. But safety, yeah, yeah, safe, safety is gonna work you the most too. But the mentality of being a truck driver. You 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 gotta make sure it's in check. Make sure it's in check because if it's not in check, you gonna you you gonna lose it. Alright, hold up. First thing first, you gotta get out and look. So come on back here and see your situation. Don't just rely on me. You gotta come back here and see for yourself. Yeah, don't rely on me. You gotta come back here and see for yourself. Huh? I think it looks good. Uh, I'm going. You know what I mean? This is I'm where you. I was going in. I think I was going. This is where you at.
that right here. You right. see what I'm saying? When you was backing up the first time, you was coming too far over there. So what you need to do now is make your cut so you can swing it over in here. You gotta turn the wheels to the right to turn the train. There you go, turn it to the right to turn the train. Keep it to the right to turn the train. Beginning to be one of my favorite places to come to. Look at all look, look at all the space right here that you got to work with to get in these docks. That's for starters, man. So I love it here. I forget the name. I think it's uh Sapco. Sapco here in uh Mayfield, Wisconsin. Woke up this morning, got here. My appointment wasn't until 1:30. But as always, when I get here super early. They always get me in and they always get me loaded. So, I really do like it here. They they got a dry dry freight right now, so I don't think they have a... Uh, I have to... Uh, man, gotta, uh, gotta come here and slap my tandems back. <sighs> gotta make sure everything is good when uh you get ready to go make sure you do your pre-trip especially in the winter months man you gotta you gotta be diligent about your pre-trip in the winter months anything liable to happen so you gotta make sure that your electrical line and your air hoses is all correct make sure that your tires is all inflated correct make sure the threads is correct make sure the lights work and all that good stuff just make sure that you're that you're good to go and right now, I am good to go. That's the mentality. You gotta, you gotta make sure that your that that your mind is 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 mentally focused enough to get into this game. All right, because this 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 is a this is a hell of a game to get into, and and it's not for everybody. All right, it's not for everybody. I mean, you know, all you guys just think that we're out here lollygagging and all we just doing is just driving all day and just living it up and all like that. No, it don't happen that way. It do not happen that way. There's 
there's a lot of stuff mentally that messes with you while you out here in this game. You got kids at home, you got a, if you're married or you got a girlfriend, you got, you know, you got responsibilities and stuff like that. You know, it just all adds up to, you know, to the frustration and the mental breakdown that that can eventually happen to us truck drivers out here. Not only that we get frustrated with with the receivers and the and the shippers, but we get frustrated because of what's going on at home that we don't have no control over while we're out here, you know? While, while we're out here. If we don't have, if we're not at home, we don't know what's going on and we can't control it. Just like situations with this waiting thing, you can't, you can't control it. I mean, some of it can be controlled though. You know what I'm saying? With proper communication and stuff like that. Some of it can be controlled, but a lot of it, a lot of it isn't. A lot of it, you know. But that's about it. I just wanted to come on right quick, you know, drop this little drool about uh about trucking and about waiting and mentality and stuff like that you know i just want you guys to just want you guys to know you know it's not it's not all that sunshine and roses out here you know at some of these places you know in order to get detention pay you got to be there on time and in the door well Unfortunately, I didn't make it here on time, but I am in the door. So, unfortunately, I got a I got maybe 1 2 3 4. I got four trucks ahead of me. They they got they got to get loaded first. So, and plus they don't have, you know, they they don't have that many people in there working tonight. So, again, I I'm gonna be stuck again, and this time I may or may not get paid. Make right. sure your mentality is is on point, because if it ain't, you will not survive. And I suggest you not coming out here. I suggest you you do something else. All right, lockout men, catch me on Instagram. That's the way to get at me. Like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. If you new to the channel, hey, I appreciate you watching. Thank you very much. Consider subscribing. All right. You know, let's chop it up in the let's chop it up in the comments. All right, guys. I'll talk to y'all later.